In physics and math, we use angles and radians and degrees to show slope. Normal people don't. Let's learn physics. Gradient, pitch, incline, slope, grade. You could use the length of the incline and the height, some ratio of those, or the height and the horizontal, the x, and really that's what they do. That's the key one. The gradient is the height vertical over the horizontal run, the displacement. So you take h over x, and here's a real example. 2 over 20 gives you 1 tenth or a 10% gradient. The gradient is also equal to the slope, the rise over the run. And the gradient is exactly the same decimal value as the tangent of the angle with respect to the horizontal. In this diagram, on the far right, starting with the purple, you have a simple ratio of height to horizontal run. Then inside that, that's the angle in degrees, inside that is the percent gradient. Just different ways to measure the angle. Here's a chart, 10% grades under 6 degrees, 50% grades, 27 degrees, and at 45 degrees, the height and the horizontal run are the same. So 45 degrees is 100% gradient. Here it is on that protractor. Above 45, that percent gradient keeps on building until it's undefined at 90 degrees. It's really convenient for normal numbers of slopes of things that we will climb. Walking up a hill in your neighborhood, pretty much no chance it's going to be a 30% grade. That thing is crazy steep. So the next time you're talking to your roofer, a guy who's running new drainage pipe on the street, or guy who's pouring concrete. They don't think in terms of angles and degrees and things like that. It's all about this gradient concept or, more importantly, the vertical drop over the horizontal run. Maybe the vertical drop over the length of the incline. Because for small angles, h over x and h over l pretty much the same thing. It's pretty common. Gradient. Get to know it.